Daphne police say electronic cigarettes and vapes are showing up on school campuses more often than ever before. That's reason enough for concern, but school resource officers are now regularly finding them with more than just nicotine in them. They've made four arrests at the high school for uh, kids that had vapes with uh, THC in them. THC is the compound found in marijuana, which creates a high. It's a growing problem at schools across the county. SROs in Daphne now carry field test kits that can detect the presence of THC. Combating the use of vapes is a challenge, but one Daphne's SROs are taking on by targeting younger students. This year, I've set up a program that I'm teaching in my eighth grade, um, so I'll go in the class because I think the big thing that we need to be doing is teaching our kids that those things are actually harmful because the research shows if they know things are harmful, they'll stop. Between last school year and the first couple months of this year, Daphne school resource officers have confiscated more than 50 e-cigarettes and vape units from Daphne Middle and High School. Just this year, 15 have been picked up at Daphne High and 8 from the middle school. Police want parents to understand the consequences the use of vapes can have on their children as well as the difficulty in recognizing their use. They're small, they're easy to hide. A lot of times uh, adults really don't know what these devices are. Uh, there are some that are disguised to look like USB drives, and, and uh, so, and you know, and the kids are tricky with it. They'll, uh, you know, blow the water vapor into their backpacks or down their sweatshirt collars, and uh, so, you know, that makes it difficult. While police say they'd like to be out in front of the problem, right now they're still playing catch up. Reporting from Daphne, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News. And by the way, Daphne PD has posted some of the risk of e-cigarette use and how parents can find out what to look for. That's on the department's Facebook page.